Hi everyone, it's Auntie Kay Yard Sales Arena here with Uncle Vinti the Vintage Tool Man with some of our yard sale finds for the month of September and the first couple weeks in October 2014. We haven't made a lot of videos lately because we're both really busy at work, but we still go out on occasion and I want to share some of the fun items that we found. Check this guy out. I saw him online. This was a moving sale. And when I got there, we discovered that it was a weather vane. But he's missing the support bar and his feet. The support bar would come down and attach here. And there's a bar that goes along here. Do I have him oriented correctly? Not quite. Not quite. Like this. It should be straight. Yeah. Feet should be coming down that flat straight. supports his there feet. Go. There That's we go. It. Now I got him. Anyway, he's a turkey. Could you tell that? He's really neat. We found a picture online, which was how we determined that he was missing those parts. We contacted the people who were running this sale, and they're in the process of moving and packing up, and they're going to look and see if they can find those two pieces because if they can, that will make repairing him a lot easier. However, we'll get him, we'll get him together one way or the other. You pay what, 20? I pay $20 for this. It's old, it's an antique, he's copper. You can't tell, you could shine him up if you wanted to, but I usually don't do that. They had a huge yard, tons of yard art. Lions, fountains, gargoyles, etc. So we picked up a couple of pieces. I paid 20 for the fountain and 10 for the transom, I guess you would call that, or just wall plaque. We stopped at a community sale one weekend and found a number of interesting items, including these. I bought four of them. We're not exactly sure what they are. They're some type of architectural piece and it looks like they came off of either a fence or a building. Anyway, I think they're really neat and I think you could come up with some creative use for them. I paid four dollars for each, what, foot long piece? Yeah. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna come up we'll with something. We'll something to do with them. Yeah, we'll figure out something to do with those. At that same sale, I bought this Jim Dolly. <laughs> Reminds me of my PE days when I was in grade school. I used to always run over my fingers with these silly things. Anyway, I think I paid, what, five bucks for that? I think that's what I paid. Okay. Two bucks? I don't remember. Uh, something like that. Not very much. But we're going to use it as a plant trolley instead of a Jim Dolly. I bought several of these milk bottles. This one is the Fairfield Dairy in Western Maryland. I think I paid a dollar each for these. You can see this is soaking in a solution called The Works. I got this tip from a gentleman who digs up bottles. So he told me that you use The Works, which is a toilet bowl cleaner. But what does it have in it, Uncle mm, Vinti? Removes calcium rust and lime. Okay, so something like that. But it works really well as the first go around with these bottles. Put some of the works or your solution in the bottom and then fill it up with water and just let it soak for a couple of days. At another house at the community sale we found these really neat items. This horse sculpture I guess you would call it. It's signed down here. It says a Gigi's Pride by J. Bears, Florentine Art Studio, copyright 1978. I paid $5 for him. I thought he was fabulous. And along with him, I got these neat Blanton's bourbon bottles. They serve this bourbon at the Preakness. They have different cork styles, and I have two different cork styles. Also, on the label, they tell you the year and the barrel number that it came from. So this is 2004, and this one is 
2009. And I paid two dollars a piece for these. I'm going to sell them as a set because I think they're really cool, particularly for people who are into horse racing and uh, the history of horse racing in Maryland. All right. At an estate sale, Uncle Vinci found this. He paid a dollar. Look at this. Look how cool this is. This converts an oil lamp to an electric lamp. You screw this baby on here. Then you run the electrical cord up, twist your socket on, connect the wires, and you're essentially good to go. One buck. Can't beat that. I got a couple of neat tins. This Union Leader smoking tobacco. And this McConnell black ointment tin. The active ingredient is chrysalic acid, and we don't know what that is. But if you read on the back, it says use only as directed. Do not use on cats. Soothing and helpful dressing of many uses. Useful to keep foreign matter out of scratches, cuts, open sores, common open boils, and pimples to help relieve the itching of eczema and non-toxic insect bites. So you can, apparently you can use it on people, but not in cats. And down here it says, for poultry, no pick. To discourage chickens and turkeys from picking, apply black ointment to the bloody area, promotes healing and discourages picking. So good for people and chickens, but not for cats. Anyway, interesting, I think I paid a buck or two for each of those. All right, another one of those milk bottles. A little mirror, $2.50. I'll save this. This went with this thing. This we picked up at a, an estate sale. What did I pay for that? A buck? A dollar? A little girl picked it up and asked me what it was, and I didn't know. So um, I asked around, and apparently it's for a pipe. Yeah? Yes. Cleaning out, packing. So a little, a buck. It's, un, it's not sterling silver. When that would have been wonderful. This is a gourd that someone painted. She's an angel. I thought she was really cool. I think she'll make a really nice present. Uh, she was five bucks. Oops. This is a, they call them, they call them tappers or clappers. Anyway, he would have a stick and there would be a board and he would dance on it. I paid five dollars for him. I have a couple of these and I thought he was cute. He has a peg leg. He came from uh, Williamsburg, Williamsburg, Virginia. And uh, lastly, just a vintage grape nuts thermometer. Gotta love that. Another neat piece that we picked up was this antique Wilcox and Gibbs sewing machine table. The various pieces have different patent dates on them, starting from 1870. These pieces, I paid all of $15 for this piece. And you can see it does need a little staining. I plan to lightly sand and restain the top, and that's it. I paid $15 for that which is an, an amazing buy because bases, just the base, this piece down here without any top, sell for $300 to $400 on eBay. So I think I did really well. Up Sitting on it is a neat vintage oil painting from Paris. The artist's name is M. Dezain. I looked him up, I wasn't able to find him. This belonged to my girlfriend's mother. The frame is gorgeous. The painting is impressionistic style, and we'll see what we can get for it. Yesterday at an estate sale, we picked up these funky Cypress Garden skis. The bottle is Acapulco. Uncle Vinci got on me because I paid $20 for them. They're worth about $50. But I think they're really neat, and I'm probably going to put those up in our Florida home. Done. My favorite piece by far is this really neat old baker's table. It was out in the middle of a field at a huge sale, and it looked exactly like it does here. 
I called Uncle Vinti over and I said, check this out. Look at this piece. This is a really old baker's table. You can look down here and see the label, the brass label, G.P. McDougall and Sons, Indianapolis, Indiana. And they were in business from 1899 to 1906. Now granted, this does need some work. We are going to restore this piece. We believe this is the original table top and we are going to replace this piece and refinish it. It is also missing two cutting boards and of course the hardware. But look at this. It's got these two bins. And I love it. I paid $50 for this piece, which might seem like a lot, but these sell starting at $300 and going up from there when they are restored. So I'm really excited about this piece. I plan to keep it. I think it is a very interesting piece.